Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So a lot of you have been asking me about my story with Pluralsight. I think a lot of you were interested because you hear me talking about Pluralsight a lot. You know, I've done some courses for Pluralsight, actually 55 courses. And I, I did some videos talking about Pluralsight. I always am pushing it, saying this is the best money that you can spend for your developer career. Uh, if you haven't checked them out already, definitely go check them out. But I want to talk about today about my story, just give you a little bit of background so you can understand what what happened and and just because uh, it's kind of interesting, I think, you know, what, what happened with me with Pluralsight. And Pluralsight was one of those things that really did shift my career around and was a great opportunity for me. It was one of those opportunities where, you know, luck meets preparation and hard work makes, uh, makes it have a result, at least in my life. But this is one of those stories that I think will will show you how, one, you have to be prepared for opportunity, but two, you have to make the most of opportunity. And, you know, opportunity does come via some luck, right? So it doesn't mean that you, you have to get lucky all the time. I think there's a lot of opportunities of luck in, in a lot of people's lives. We just don't recognize it because we're not prepared. And when we do recognize it or when we do take the opportunity, we don't maximize it because we don't push it to its potential. We're not willing to work hard enough to be able to do that. So. What happened with me? So I started out and, you know, this was way back, what was this, around the 2009 time frame, I think. At this point, I had developed an Android app. I had actually, I did this blog post a while on, on becoming a finisher. Check that out if you haven't already. But in that, I talked about how I had always been not a finisher, right? I'd always started projects, never finished them, probably like a lot of you. And I decided I was gonna create this Android app for, I started running and it was called Pacemaker at the time. I, I've since changed the name to Run Run Faster or something because there was a trademark dispute, but that's, that's a whole nother story. But I created this app, an Android app, or I was gonna create this Android app that was gonna tell you to speed up or slow down to, to keep track of your pace, which it was actually a pretty novel idea at the time, and then a lot of a lot of popular apps copied that. I could have I could have made a lot more money from that app if I would have patented that idea. I really should have, but hey, that's all right. Hindsight is twenty twenty. The point is this, though: I created this app, or the idea for this app, and I was going to learn Android development at the same time. I knew some Java development already. I'd already known Java but I didn't really know Android. I thought, okay, I'm gonna teach myself Android. It'll be kind of fun to be able to develop an app for my phone. And I ended up creating this app. It took me a long time to do it. Uh, well, I guess a relatively long time. I think about three months of working on it every day after work. I, I had a Trello board. I had put out the tasks that I was gonna do and I planned this out. And there were some times when I really wanted to quit, but I didn't quit, I kept going and I built this app eventually, it released it to the App Store. Okay, then what ended up happening was I was talking at some code camps in, in Boise. I was talking about doing some Android development and a gentleman by the name of David Starr who had actually, I had encountered before in Boise and he had seen some of my, my blogs and he had heard that I was speaking at the code camp. He approached me and he basically said, hey, look, we're looking for someone uh, at Pluralsight to either build an Android app and also potentially to do a course on Android development. Now, I, I, my, my plan at this point in my life was to do Android development, right? To build a bunch of apps and to make some money, passive income from doing Android development. I didn't really think about recording Pluralsight courses or teaching courses, but I said, you know, what? Heck, I might as well try both of these things. So I put in a bid to be the Android developer to build their Android app. And then I also uh, said, okay, well, I might as well submit an audition for, for this, this Pluralsight course. And so I actually got rejected for the Android developer position. They went with someone else. I, I don't know. I didn't really make it past very, very far into the stage. I'm, I'm guessing because I didn't have a huge amount of Android experience, but because of my blogging and because of my teaching, they were interested in definitely having me do an audition for, for Pluralsight. So I went and I came up with a, a, a curriculum. I came up with the modules that I was going to teach. Like how would I teach Android development having just 
learn Android. How would I teach someone else how to learn this and to learn it faster than I did? And I put that together and actually put together just the first module of this. And David Starr was, was kind enough to let me go over to his house and record using his his mic, his, uh, what, this, uh, oh, you can't see it here. You can barely see it in the frame here, but it's a, a Rode. USB mic. He let me record and I recorded the entire Pluralsight module that I was doing for the demo 15 minutes. It took me about three or four hours. He was like, what is going on? What, why is it taking you so long to record this? And it's kind of funny because I didn't, I'd never done any video editing at that point. Okay. So I didn't realize that you could edit out things that you could edit out ums and that you could, you could edit pieces of it. Right. I, I didn't, I didn't realize. I figured that if you cut some of the audio that it would make the video look weird and, and you know because you're coordinating syncing video and audio together that you, you just couldn't edit stuff like you would be able to just edit audio and man <laughs> so what I ended up doing was every time that I messed up I, I kid you not on this 15 minute demo that I did I restarted. I totally restarted from the beginning. I didn't have a script or anything because it was it was too long, it was 15 minutes, but I just restarted and redid it. Re, I reinstalled the Android framework de development studio, I don't know how many times, and uh, it, it was crazy. So, he, you know, David was like, are, are you crazy? Did, did, you, <laughs> did you not know you could edit? And then he showed me real quick how you can edit things and take out an um, and it looked fine and smooth, and I was like, wow. It's it, that's that's pretty amazing. So uh, that that was pretty interesting. So I, I actually submitted the interview or the the audition, and I was I didn't know what to think from it. But he came back and he said, "Wow, they loved it. It's awesome. You have some kind of natural talent for teaching. You know, your your voice sounds good. Like you have enthusiasm. It's not like the boring monotone stuff that most of, that we mostly see from other people that submit auditions. And you have a really good way of teaching. So I was really impressed by that. I was real happy, you know, I, I guess not impressed, I was, I was very pleased with myself because I, I never really thought of myself of, of having those attributes. And even though I've liked teaching, even though I like explaining things to people, I never really thought that I had a, you know, just a, a really good talent for that. But you know, apparently I did. So I said, okay, well, that's great. I was surprised. I didn't think it was really good. I thought it was was not the best that I could possibly do because I didn't know about editing, right? So. Anyway, what ended up happening was there was actually with Pluralsight, they had a pretty good royalty mechanism here. And by the way, I'll, I'll plug if you have if you're watching this long and you haven't gone to Pluralsight site, you probably want to go check that out. And uh, I think there'll probably be a special like if you sign up through my links and stuff, usually I've got some kind of deal or promotion with, with Pluralsight. I think right now they're giving like a $10 gift card if you sign up or don't 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 quote me on it because it doesn't I don't know when you're going to be watching the video but I always try to negotiate some kind of deals with them since I send so many people there because I love it so much but here, here's the thing so what what happened next so I I got accepted so that means I get to create this course and what they were doing at the time with the royalties was kind of interesting you had to have so many hours worth of content in the library in order to actually get any royalties otherwise they just paid you up front and they, they did that anyway so I thought okay man I got to make this Android course I think it was like seven or eight hours I had to had to make it uh, in order to to make sure that I got paid royalties on my first course right just common sense logic here so but that's a lot of work right creating a seven or eight hour course is a lot more work than creating a two hour or three hour course. So I had to really think about this, really sit down. I think it took me about two or three months to create my first course. I planned it all out, did all the modules and stuff, and I got it done. And uh, and, and you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll actually leave off here this this story, and and we're gonna we're gonna make a part two here because I don't want to make this this video too long. What do we got? Like about nine minutes, and I'll I'll remember to resume here after if you, if you can well actually i'll leave it up to you guys let me know what you what you think about this and if you want to hear more of my plural site story because I, I did my career story and stuff but i didn't go into really depth details about plural site. i know a lot of you are interested in it but uh, let me know if you're interested because i did end up uh, i'll give you a little bit of taste of what's to come i'll tell you how i made over a million dollars from plural site and, and continue to make a lot of money from plural site uh, coming up so give a thumbs up 
and leave a comment if you want me to continue this. All right, that's all I got for you today. Again, let me know if you want me to continue. If you do, I will, I will continue on and I will tell you about the rest of my Pluralsight story. All right, if you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button. I'll talk to you next time. You don't wanna miss that next video.